Hello again, and welcome to My Bolt EUV. I'm Jim, and this week we're charging from point A to point B. Climb in. Let's go. This episode is entitled Charging Standards and Networks. The next few months are going to be interested as the Standard Adapter War just took a new turn this past week. CCS or Tesla? Which standard will win? Which adapter will become the norm in North America? Let's compare this to the VHS and Betamax wars of the early 1980s. Betamax was solely owned by Sony. It was a superior technology, better video quality, but it lost out because Sony would not license Betamax to any other vendor or any other movie network out there. And VHS became the de facto standard because Panasonic released it to everybody who wanted to use it. Well, Tesla learned a lesson from that. We're going to talk about that. Are you going to need an adapter? Possibly. If you want to know the truth about standards here in North America, there are actually three standard EV adapters in the USA. The CCS adapter, the Tesla adapter, and the Chatamo adapter. Chatamo is effectively a dead standard because it's only used on Japanese imports like the Nissan Leaf. The CCS adapter is a worldwide standard, even though the European version is slightly different than ours here in North America. The Tesla adapter is unique to Tesla until now. So I ask the question again, CCS or Tesla, Betamax or VHS? Again, in the 1980s, Betamax lost out to VHS because VHS was licensed to virtually anybody who wanted to use that standard in their video player. Tesla has learned that lesson from history. The Tesla app adapter is a superior technology and they have made it available to any other manufacturer that wants to use it for free. Ford took them up on the offer and now Ford EVs will have unlimited access to the superior Tesla fast charge network as well as all of the existing CCS networks. Will other manufacturers take up Tesla on their offer? I predict they will. I also predict that Tesla will ultimately win this battle but it will take upwards of a decade to win. Starting with the 2025 year model, Ford Motor Company will build all of its EVs with the Tesla adapter. In the meantime, they will make CCS to Tesla adapters available to all their current EV owners so they can take advantage of the fast charge network. All of this and just a few select Tesla models Tesla chargers, I should say, have the CCS adapter built into them now. Test stations up in New York and a few out in California. Tesla is planning to put these CCS adapters on all of their network, pretty much nationwide, or at least a good majority of it. But that still limits CCS charge styles, cars like mine, to just a few Tesla adapters. I'm going to also make another bold prediction here right now. I predict that Tesla will likely offer an adapter for sale for all CCS EV owners so they can take advantage of the entire Tesla network. It will likely cost a few dollars and it will require a subscription to the Tesla network. But many will take advantage of this capability because of the availability of EV chargers on the Tesla network. Electrify America does not currently offer Tesla adapters at their fast charge sites, at least none that I've seen. EVgo does have a Tesla plug at most of their sites, and this will fast become the norm at all EV sites that have CCS adapters and Chatamo adapters. They also have a Tesla plug available for Tesla cars. Blink will likely follow suit, as I believe ChargePoint will as well, if they haven't already. And there will be many other mainstream EV charging providers out there that will do the same. Will Tesla license the adapter technology for third parties to build adapters? Possibly. The next two years will determine which standard wins here in North America. So sit back and hold on. Will Stellantis, the owner of Chrysler and General Motors, join Ford? What about the Korean and Japanese manufacturers? Will VW join Ford? Of note, all Tesla vehicles sold in Europe 
have the European adapter because the Tesla adapter is not allowed in Europe. So that's another problem. So the CCS Tesla war has heated up in this past week. Let's sit back and see what happens. In the meantime, please subscribe, share, comment, and like, and ring that notification bell. Remember to treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help somebody today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Until then, this is Jim signing off. <laughs>